Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at heat conduction through a wall, or I should say a multi-layered wall. And each of the different layers have a different conductivity constant. So how do we find an equation that describes the heat flow through one of those walls? Well, what we can say here is that the amount of heat flow through each section of the wall must be equal, just like the water flow through a hose cannot change the amount of water flowing through the hose doesn't change depending upon the diameter of the hose and here we can say the amount of heat traveling through each section doesn't depend upon the heat conductivity it must be equal through each section so we can say that the heat flow to the first section equals the heat flow to the second section equals the heat flow to the third sections notice that we use the equation where we have delta t in the numerator and we have the heat resistance in the denominator for each section and then we use the concept, if we have fractions that equal to each other like this, therefore that must be equal to the sum of the numerators divided by the sum of the denominators. A kind of quick little example with some easy numbers, you can see that 1 half is equal to 2 fourths, which is equal to 4 eighths. If we add the numerators together and then we add the denominators together, that ratio again equals the ratio of the first three fractions. So we're using the same concept here. We're going to add all the numerators together and we're going to add all the denominators together. The numerators are all the changes or the differences in temperature from the left side to the right side of each section and the denominators are the heat resistances of each section. Which means we can now write, let's go up here, we can now write that the heat flow Q is equal to the sum of all the numerators which is T1 minus T2 plus t, let's see here, t2 minus t3 t plus t3 minus t4 and the whole thing divided by the sum of all the heat resistances so that would be equal to delta x sub a over k sub a times the cross-sectional area notice in this case all the cross-sectional areas are the same plus delta x so B, and of course the delta X's are all the widths of each of the sections, times K, divided by K sub B times the cross-sectional area, plus delta X sub C divided by K sub C times the cross-sectional area. Now when we look at the numerator, notice that the T2's cancel out and the T3's cancel out, so we can say that the heat conduction, delta Q, delta T, through the entire wall, all three sections of the wall, will be T1 minus T4 in the numerator divided by all the, the sum of all the heat resistances of each of the sections. There you go. And of course then we realize that the, sum, uh, the numerator is simply the difference between the temperature on the left side and the temperature on the right side, the total temperature. So regardless of the number of layers that are in the wall, regardless of the heat conductivity of each layers, the final equation, the delta Q delta T, Q dot, is simply equal to the difference in the temperature from the left side to the right side divided by the heat resistances of each of the layers independently. And so that's an easy way to write the equation and to calculate the heat flow through a composite wall. And that is how it's done.